zero account keeping fees? Yeah. Is the night's demolition of the Roosters has come at a cost to the New South Wales Origin team. Luke Keary has been ruled out and Mitchell Pearce suffered a flare-up to a groin injury which will need rehab. The night's resounding victory was the first time Newcastle has made it five wins in a row in 14 seasons. He's in career best form. A nice feeling to win up against your old club. It was funny out there playing against your old teammates and stuff, but um, I really enjoyed it tonight. Whoever wins the Blues number seven jersey, there's no denying the dominance of the Knights captain. Yeah, he's incredible, eh? <laughs> oh, he's a freak. He's, um, and, you know, he's the one leading the way. He's our captain, and, you know, he's the hungriest and most competitive bloke. Pearcey is in high form. Like, that's the top end footy that he's playing at the moment. The Roosters rested Cooper Cronk. This certainly didn't help the reigning premiers when Daniel Safiti monstered Luke Keary. Danny Levi didn't see much game time off for the match after sliding awkwardly into a tackle. Jared Warrior Hargreaves costing his side another two when he tried to intimidate Kalen Conger. James Tedesco tried his best to spur on the tricolours. No, no, no. He takes the tap, Tedesco! He catches the tap The fullback's on fire when Caelan Ponger created magic. Ponga then turned provider for the skipper. Brilliant solo effort from another former rooster after the break sent the home crowd into delirium. Now Watson, he's gone through them. Connor Watson, Watson. Frustration starting to boil over before Pierce made his former teammates pay where it counts. The fires into the A consolation try for the roosters and a consolation sin bin with seconds on the clock. Five wins in a row with a bye to come. Uh, it's been built off the back of our defence and our effort areas and we've been talking about that a fair bit, but yeah. You play with that sort of desire, you get results and obviously the attack's clicking off the back of it. It was only six weeks ago that Mitchell Pearce was wrong choice as captain and I couldn't coach and it's rugby league's an interesting game, isn't it? Ricky Stewart was a shattered man this afternoon, coming to grips with the loss of inspirational hooker Josh Hodgson. The Raiders lost by six points to North Queensland as tensions continue to sizzle in the Indigenous round. Pre-match gifts that Jake Granville kept handing out. The Cowboys crossing first. And sets up Tom Adlicek. Jake Granville with a try assist. But momentum would fluctuate in the first half. Blues hopeful Jack White and found Bailey Simonson who flew into the corner before Michael Oldfield got to the ball that no one else could. They miss it. It is still there. And it is finished by Michael Oldfield. Justin O'Neill crashed his way over. North Queensland up 14 to 10 at half time. And they extended that lead thanks to a gorgeous bounce of the ball. Oh, now the kick from Morgan out to an unmarked Josh Hodgson's day was over. Well, that man with a suspected broken thumb. His replacement drawing the Raiders to within four. Harvili, dummies, goes low out of dummy half and reaches out to score. But Jordan Kahu kicked the Cowboys six points clear and that's where it remained. The Cows on the road getting up 22 to 16. It doesn't help your cause when you're losing your best players. Um... And, you know, like tonight's no different with Liz and Josh. Rob Canning, NBN News. At Mount Smart Stadium in Auckland, it's all locked up at half time between the Warriors and the Broncos. Adam Blair returned for the home side, though it was all up to the kickers in the first 40. Patrick Herbert putting the Warriors in the lead thanks to a penalty before going close to extending the margin only minutes later. Jermaine Asako levelling the score right on the sound of half time. Gold Coast playmaker Tyrone Roberts admits the harsh criticism the club's copped has been warranted after limping to their worst start in NRL history. They responded, though, against Manly last night, coming from behind to run out 36 to 18 winners. A crucial victory in a week where the Titans board announced Mal Meninga would lead a review of the club's football department. 
Another late match, Dane Rampy brain fade has cost the Swans against Collingwood. Down by two with just three minutes remaining, Sydney's co-captain gifted the Pies a 50-metre penalty after overstepping the mark. Collingwood went on to win 80-73. to Sydney's Sam Reid kicked six goals. Lance Franklin had two in his comeback match. Australia's Cricket World Cup preparations step up tonight with an official practice match against hosts England. Mitchell Stark is hoping to use the tournament to silence his critics, in particular Shane Warne, who took aim at the Big Quick during a poor summer test series. He was the star of Australia's 2015 World Cup victory, but Mitchell Stark's lead-up to England has been far from ideal. Hampered by a torn peck, until last week the Quick hadn't bowled a ball since February. It's a silver line to... The injury is that you get to spend some time at home and, and with family and that was um, probably refreshing for me a bit as well. Stark has battled more than injury in the past six months. The paceman came under heavy fire for his form in Australia's Test Series loss to India in January. Shane Warne's criticism, the most stinging. Our new ball bowlers in Hazelwood and Stark averaging 47 and 40 with a new ball is not good enough. How difficult was it as well having legends of the game criticise you? I think I've always used it as, as motivation um, to prove people wrong, whether it be commentators, media or, or anyone really and, and um, yeah, look, the noise got rather loud throughout the summer and um, I think I was, I was pretty proud person of the way I finished the summer. His cricket star wife Alyssa Healy, the perfect partner to help him through the tough times. To have, have a wife who, who understands the ups and downs of cricket is, is um, an experience that I'm, I'm grateful to have as well. The 29-year-old knows the euphoria of lifting the World Cup, but Stark is calling on the memory of a tournament which gave him so much joy as a nine-year-old. This group can can look back on, on perhaps the 99 World Cup where, where the team lifted the trophy on the balcony at Lords and, and take inspiration from that. It's a chance for us to make our own history and, and um, yeah, hopefully the next seven or eight weeks is going to be really exciting for this group. Jaleesa Raps, NBN News. In just a moment, Nick Kyrgios pulls out of the French Open in a wave of controversy. And Steph Gilmore serves a perfect 10 in Bali. Fit? I hope you don't mind 
massive overstock clearance is on now, and Jerry's in store to slash the prices. Hey, Jerry! Mr. Harvey! Oh, this stock must clear now. Yes, Mr. Harvey. Make sure the deals are red hot. Yes, sir. Let's sell, sell, sell. Yes, Mr. Harvey. We're under boss's orders. Harvey Norman massive overstock clearance must end this weekend. This is it. Our last chance to clear stock. Electrical computers, bedding, furniture. There's amazing offers and unbelievable savings. Get to work now. The boss is counting on us. It's all got to go, go, go. Last chance. Harvey Norman massive overstock clearance ends Sunday. With Ross and Home's new range of custom collection upgrades, I got to save on the things I didn't need and invest in the things I did. Mom! Like my bathroom to indulge and unwind. Visit Ross and Home's today. drive from Ford Mustang driver Scott McLaughlin at Winton today. It's the sixth stop of the supercar season and early on Nissan driver Simona Di Silvestro was escorted off the track by Holden's Richie Stanaway. It wasn't the only drama. McLaughlin pushed off the road by his teammate before regaining control and the lead to record his ninth victory of the season. Just days after claiming the French Open sucks, Nick Kyrgios has pulled out of the event, citing illness. Kyrgios is expected to remain in London to prepare for the grass court season in Wimbledon in July. The 24-year-old, who's losing fans by the week, also pulled out of last year's French Open. Steph Gilmore has served one of the waves of her career to win the Bali Pro. The seven-time world champion scored a perfect 10 to beat Sally Fitzgibbons in an All-Australian final. The triumph rocketing her to the top of the tour rankings. In the men's final, Kanoa Igarashi defeated Jeremy Flores, the Japanese star moving up to second in the championship behind John John Florence.